My name is Dr. Michael Kansime. I work for the Africa Institute for Strategic Animal Resource Services. And as you very well know, that world over livestock presents a very, a very sure economic pathway out of poverty. So we have a deliberate effort to promote livestock farming. Diary, beef, eggs, to mention but a few. And as you very well know, that when you engage in livestock production, at least 70% of your inputs go to feed. So feeding is very critical. And particularly here in Sub-Saharan Africa, and in Uganda in particular, we have got several shocks and or challenges that our livestock uh, keep, uh, keep uh, face. The first challenge is the challenge of drought. We have got people losing animals and mass because of drought. We have got people who are engaging in smallholder production with basically no enough land for further growth. So any innovation to provide adequate feed for the animals is very critical to the livestock farmer. So this innovation is hydroponic fodder production technology, whereby we have uh, cereals which we sprout with water under controlled tem temperature to ensure that we come up with very nutritious fodder for livestock. Now, this hydroponic fodder, it grows in six days. Just six days, you see this seed, and at the end of six days, you have fodder for animals. Now, what happens again, during the process of germination, because this seed, every seed, most, of the, most plants keep their, their food in seed. So why we, take, why we are feeding animals on this is because during the process of germination, the food that the, the plant stored, like starch, is broken down into small particles, into glucose, proteins into amino acids, different stuff, different things. So what, that's what happens. That at the end of the day, in six days, all nutrients that are very nice, that the plant needs to grow, are made. This is water that is provided to facilitate the hydrolysis and the growth of this seed. There is no soil involved. But when you provide adequate water, the seed starts germinating. And when it germinates, that's when it hydrolyzes the protein, the carbohydrate into absorbable nutrients for an animal, thereby enhancing the digestibility of this feed. As you see, the feed, when you put it on day one and introduce water, the germination starts. On day two, on day three, on day four and day five, you have different varying sizes in growth. But we get the maximum protein content at day six. There are so many benefits that we have been able to see from the animals that feed on this hydroponic. The conception rates go high. The vitality of the animal, you see it, it's nice. The quality of the meat, the quality of the milk is drastically improved when you animal feed on this hydroponic feed. So I appeal to you if this innovation could be helped to be scaled out to rural households, would be able to facilitate even a local farmer in the rural household who ordinarily may see it as a dream to have an animal because of lack of feed, because of lack of land resource, because of drought, he would be able to have cattle, which he can feed and have all that high quality milk, high quality meat, and good animals. Please, I appeal that you vote for this innovation to facilitate somebody out there get out of poverty.